If you are going to be in the Los Angeles area, come out and see the pros play in person. Head over to lolesports.com and reserve your spot in our studio audience. Just click the tickets link for all of the details. And earlier, we were tracking our rivalry match. Here you see Team Solo mid arriving just a few moments ago. We'll be seeing those guys in action a little later. In the last couple years, we have seen a number of Korean players trying to make it big in the North American LCS. Later to make his move, his move himself, he joined Team Gravity and says with a little practice, they will be ready for playoffs. I was in League of Legends in the League of Legends. I was able to get the game 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 정글러를 구할 생각이 없냐 물어봤을 때 이디지가 저를 바로 구한다고 해가지고 이디지에 가게 되었습니다. 미국에 와서 프로 게임하는 게 저에게 대로 되게 새롭고 좋은 기회라 생각하고 영어를 좀더할수 있게 되면 그 같은 팀원들이랑 같이 아무데나 놀러 가는 게 좋을 것 같습니다. 그래비티 팀에게 제가 주는 입담은 아마도 제가 공격적이다 보니까 사운판을 먼저 열수 있는 게 장점이 아닌가 생각합니다. 그래비티 팀첫 주차에서 1대1이라는 성적이 되게 잘 나온 것 같고 팀의 의사소통 문제만 좀 해결된다면 아마도 플레이오프까지는 갈수 있지 않을까 생각합니다. 그래비티 팀은 아무래도 새로운 팀원이 온지 얼마 안 됐기 때문에 시간이 지나면 지날수록 좀더 세지지 않을까 생각합니다. Well, hopefully he's right as time passes, the team will get stronger. So far, showing that that is absolutely a possibility with the way they've been playing. Yeah, I mean, their game against Cloud9 yesterday looked extremely impressive, but with cloud Nine struggles, we're going to have to see how good this Gravity team is and whether they can maintain a level of consistency. That's true. It could be harder against other teams. Let's see how Move and Gravity perform in our next match as they take on Team Liquid. For Gravity, they have been uh, have to be feeling good after their commanding win, as you were saying, against Cloud9 yesterday. It's a yeah. team that everybody wants to beat right now. Yeah, we were just talking about that. And Gravity, they played a really impressive yep. game yesterday. They were able to stay ahead of Cloud9 for the whole 35 minutes and then obviously finish off the yep. game then. And it started with that fantastic level one strategy. And one other thing, while we're on the topic of move, yeah. he's brought some tremendous vision control in this game. Even though week one looked a little bit underwhelming, he leads the league with 1.3 wards placed per minute. That's usually a support stat leading the league. Yeah. He also has the most wards killed with 68. Those impressive 19 wards, which he killed yesterday, was the lowest total of all three games he's played so far. So he's really getting the job done as far as fog of war control. That he is. Meanwhile, Team Liquid are now 3-0. But once again, yesterday we heard Dominate cautioning fans not to jump on the hype train just yet. Yeah, because Team Liquid, let's be honest, they've had a much easier schedule than some other teams. True. They faced Team 8, who was the seventh place team last split, mm -hmm. and then TDK and Enemy, who were the two newest teams to the LCS. And so, sub squad. Not, not heavy tests. The real test will be how they handle adversity as they get into the tougher part of their schedule, which could end up being this game here against Gravity. And one of the guys Liquid will be relying on today is Piglet. And Piglet believes the AD carry's job has only gotten more important now that supports are expected to roam. Bottom line is 2-day line, line, so I can't win 2-day line because 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 I can't win 2-day line. 그 상대 원딜러보다 딜을 더 잘해야 되고 정말 중요한 거는 이제 한타 때 포지셔닝을 잘해가지고 끝까지 살아남아서 좀 딜을 많이 하는 게 가장 중요한 것 같아요. Yeah, and Expecial's been roaming more than almost all the other supports. I watch so many streams where I'm watching mid laners on the other team just getting destroyed by Expecial. Again and again, it's like, why is Expecial always in this lane? It's because Expecial's one of the best players at roaming into mid lane, but yeah. that also puts a higher stress level on his AD carry because you're trading advantages for the other one. Piglet playing with Expecial 
We'll know how that works. I feel like that stress they're putting on Piglet is helping as well. It's kind of what he wanted before. He wanted a bit more of a focal point. Yep. And he's been scoring some big points, and maybe again this game. Let's check out the teams with a look at the starting lineups. On the blue side, it's Team Liquid. Quas in the top lane, dominating the jungle. Phoenix in mid, Piglet at 80 carry, and Nick Special at support. And on the red side, it is, of course, Gravity. Haunter's been having some good games in the top lane. Move, Vision yep. Control in the jungle. Keen in the mid lane, what's he going to play today? All tech on AD carry, and, of course, Bunny Fufu trying to step into the shot caller role on support. That he is. A lot of people kind of taking that uh, burden upon their shoulders, and it's very yeah. difficult. It's always easier to shot call when you're at home, when there's kind of a relaxed atmosphere, but when you're on the stage and you're considering... My teammates are going to hate me if I make a wrong. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Those calls can go wrong, and it really does play on your mentality in the game. If you get quiet, chaos become, becomes, and then things are just harder to get back in order. Both teams getting ready to get into champion select. A few chats to QC to make their, sure everything is right as rain. And we are about to get into game. The man closest.